Hi everyone, Jay here from OpenText, and in today's walkthrough, we're going to cover the activity feed in OpenText Core, a great place to go for a snapshot view of everything that's going on with your files in Core, what other collaborators are doing. As well, if you're having an issue, for example, maybe you think a file has, is missing or you can't access it anymore, you can go ahead and check the activity feed to see if someone might have moved it or perhaps even deleted it. So let's not waste any more time and get going here. Now I've taken the liberty of logging in our friend Wendy Kite, and obviously the area that we're going to be exploring today is the activity feed located right here. So let's go ahead and fire that up. And here you can see that snapshot view of everything that's going on with Wendy's files. You can scroll down historically. It'll have a timestamp uh, and an event indicator, whether it be a lock or a new draft that's been added and details in the activity feed card here for the document. So we'll scroll back up to the top. I mentioned a couple of things uh, that it was great for that, that quick view of everything going on uh, in terms of activity by other uh, collaborators. You can see uh, myself, I've shared a file here with Wendy. You can also see other actions. For example, I've moved that document. You can scroll down, you can find that Wendy shared a file with me that I didn't really think I needed, so I just went ahead and deleted it. But that's gonna delete the file for everybody, uh, all collaborators on that file. So Wendy can go ahead and actually just restore that file. You can see here in the activity feed card that Wendy has restored the file successfully. And she can do a bunch of different things. That's just one of the things you can do in the activity feed for Core. This first indicator here is the file location. She can go ahead and click on that. That's going to bring Wendy to the exact folder location in Core. You might have noticed if you get a notification via email and you click on the link there, it'll open up the file or view it or open it for editing. If you want to get the location, just head to the activity feed and hit that little location icon. It'll bring Wendy right to the file uh, folder here. You can see it's in a folder called Client Briefings under the client name Caddy Pet Foods. She can then go ahead and do all the other great things in Core from there. But let's go back and take a look at some of the other things she can do. A quick note on that file restoration, uh, undeleting a file. Uh, Wendy could have done that from her trash bin. There's a video on our YouTube channel all about that. So if you want to explore that, go ahead. But the next thing that Wendy can do in the activity feed for any uh, particular file that she has permissions uh, to do so, she can download that file. She could comment on the file. Just add that in there. Go ahead and post it. You can see there Wendy's comment. Going back to the file. The next thing she could do, Wendy does own this file that she's restored. You can, she can check out the collaborators on here and even add one. Let's go ahead here. She'll add her sister Arlene and assign her some collaborator permissions. Go ahead and add that. And you can see here the activity feed card showing that she has shared the file, the Caddy Pet Foods pitch deck with Arlene. The last thing I want to go ahead and show is how to tag it. This is going to make the file easily uh, discoverable or easy to locate by people searching in core, collaborators searching in core. She can just go ahead and just add a tag there, add another one there, and uh, you know, pitch deck and then caddy pet foods and those are the tags that when someone searches that's going to make it real super simple to find this file and locate it if they uh, do have permissions to do so uh, the last thing i want to go ahead and show you there's a another video on on drafts and versions and how those work in open text core but we can scroll down here and you can see that i added a draft of the approved contractor list for the East Dam project that I'm collaborating on with Wendy. I could go ahead and here into the version ticker and that'll bring up the document's history in OpenText Core. Because Wendy is a manager on the file, she can go ahead and actually promote it directly from there. Just another way to access drafts and versions uh, in OpenText Core. So you can see in the version history that Wendy has promoted version 1.3 to version 2. And let's go back and check on that in the activity feed. 
And there you can see the new version reflected in the activity feed. So again, activity feed, real great way to get a quick snapshot view of all activity from all collaborators, what's going on with your files in OpenText Core, as well as to maybe do some troubleshooting on files that you might have issues accessing if somebody has moved the file to a different location that has uh, removed permissions for you to view or access that file or if someone's even deleted the file you can go ahead and restore it with adequate permissions if you're a manager for example so that's about how easy as it gets uh, with open text core if you want to learn more head to our youtube channel lots of great videos there if you have a question or just want to discuss uh, features or have a feature request head to our community and if you have any issues or questions, just feel free to email us at otcoresupport at opentext.com. That's it for now, and I'll see you down the road.